Danila Klimovich is pretty insane. The guy was playing in the third-tier Belarusian league last season, was drafted by the Vancouver Canucks in the second round, despite being a player that a lot of people thought should have gone a lot later, and you take a look at where exactly he is today, hey, guess what? He is in the Abbotsford Canucks system, where he has three total points in six games played, two goals, one assist, and again, this is absolutely insane because of the progression. You don't go from the third-tier Belarusian league to the AHL as casually as Klimovich has with the level of success attached to that without being some sort of a special player, and a lot of Vancouver Canucks fans are super excited to see Klimovich, mostly because he was the first player the Canucks took in the 2021 draft. They traded away their ninth overall pick to the Arizona Coyotes for Connor Garland in the ekman Larson trade, and... You know, Klimovich having the title of being a guy that was a 41st overall pick, even though he probably could have gone somewhere in the third round, he's a guy that I think a lot of people have been pretty excited for. And just seeing the talent profile in Abbotsford, seeing him score some goals, seeing him snipe it, and just do his crazy things in practice, because all the Twitter clips have been coming out, and it's actually pretty nutty how this guy's able to go out there and showcase his skills. But we know Klimovich because of the skills he possesses, the pizzazz in his game, the really good shooting and scoring ability, plus the creativity with his hands. And we saw that in full display at training camp, we saw that in prospects camp, we saw that in the preseason. I believe, too. We had ourselves some moments where it was like, yeah, okay, look at Klimovich go. He's got his head in the right place. He's actually trying to make some things happen out there. He's catalyzing offense in a pretty surreal and creative kind of way that we're not used to seeing. So seeing him go to the AHL and skip out on junior hockey entirely. He had the option to go to the QMJHL, but the Canucks are apparently going to keep him in Abbotsford. It's crazy. Again, third division Belarusian league to the AHL, that is a huge, huge jump. And he even said that he wanted to play in the NHL as soon as possible, which would have been insane too. However, if you take a look at Danila Klimovich and the profile, you start to ask yourself, okay, this guy came out of nowhere, third tier Belarusian player, he was drafted by Vancouver, now he's in Abbotsford, now he's doing this stuff over here. What exactly is the ceiling here? Because this kind of guy doesn't usually come along ever, where you have this quickly of a step at this early of his career. He's only 18 years old, for crying out loud, already playing AHL hockey and doing pretty well in the third line. What's the ceiling here? Do we expect a bottom six NHL tweener who's got some skill? Do we expect a top six scorer who's good for 50 points? Do we expect a first line player? Do we expect an elite steal of a draft pick? Well... Harmon Dale of The Athletic went out there and interviewed his agent, Dan Milstein. This guy represents Danilo Klimovich as well as a few other NHL players. We'll look at the contracts and the clients that Milstein has later on in the video. But Danilo Klimovich's agent was interviewed here, and Harmon Dale posted the tweet onto Twitter of one of the quotes that was mentioned out here. So it actually gets pretty nutty, so I'll tell you right here, buckle up your seatbelts, grab some popcorn, and make sure your airbags are loaded up and ready to go because this quote goes by fast, and it hits you like a ton of bricks when you understand what Milstein is saying about this player. Here's the tweet. Danila Klimovich fell under the radar in Belarus where scouts could barely see him. His agent, Dan Milstein, thinks the hockey world will one day wonder how Klimovich was not a top 10 pick. Klimovich's agent, Milstein, knows a special European player that's been overlooked when he sees one. The quote says this, I represent Nikita Kucherov, 58th overall pick. Everybody looking back says he should have been first overall. I have had Pavel Datsuk, who went 171st overall in his third and final year of eligibility. Now in a redraft, he should be first overall. The jury's still out on Danila Klimovich, but I think he's a very special player, and he is going to be a top six player. If he wasn't Belarusian, he would have been selected top 10 in this 2021 draft, and hopefully he'll turn out to be one of the franchise names where someday his jersey will go up next to Pavel Bure's. Wow, what a quote. Harmon Dale, dude. Props to the guy for writing this piece and getting this quote out here and publishing it onto Twitter. I will leave a link in the description to the full interview and the full write-up on Klimovich because it is on The Athletic over here, so it is paywalled, so we're not going to screenshot anything more than what is included in the promotional tweet. But... 
hey, the agent is saying it himself that Danila Klimovich is supposed to be maybe a top six caliber talent and maybe even a top 10 caliber talent in the draft. Top six caliber, as in like in the lineup, you know, that's what I mean. And when it comes to Dan Milstein and the names that he is bringing up here, of course, of Pavel Bure, that's not one that we're going to go over here. It's really tough to say that anybody should be in the same tier as a Pavel Bure. But when it comes to the names that he does represent that have indeed been European players who are overlooked, hey, Nikita Kucherov is a pretty good one. And it's the one that actually makes Milstein the most amount of money. He's got a 9.5 AAV. Hey, guess what? Another Tampa Bay Russian 9.5 million dollar AAV player is also managed by Milstein too. That's Andre Vasilevsky. As you go down the list, you can see a very clear list of clientele that Milstein represents, and I'll give you a few more names to try to guess what that is. Let's just go down here in terms of AAV for the players and try to guess what kind of players Milstein represents. Kucherov, Vasilevsky, Zaitsev, Sorokin, Zadorov, Gavrikov, Zub, Barbashev, Nemesnikov, Sharangovich, Mikheyev, Barabanov, Mamin, Amirov, Kravtsov, Romanov. Yeah, it's a lot of Russians, a lot of Europeans over here. There are indeed a few non-Russian Europeans. Of course, Igor Sharangovich is over here, and you have Klimovich as well. But pretty much, Milstein is an international European-Russian hockey guy. And so, seeing all the names that are over here that are earning money under his services... It is pretty interesting, noting that the best ones, the best of the best, Pavel Datsuk isn't here because he's not playing NHL hockey, but you have Nikita Kucherov, of course, you have Vasilevsky, of course, and then you have some other NHL players that are pretty capable and good enough, I would say. A lot of these guys also had been pretty late picks as well. So for Danilo Klimovich getting this level of praise, I just hope that Dan Milstein isn't saying the same thing about all the other guys that he has, because he's got a ton of prospects under his name. Obviously, Romanov is in the NHL already, but you have other guys like Daniel Cheka, Maxim Kajkovic, you have Lukas Rushek, Oksentyuk, Dmitry Kuzmin, Vasily Ponomariev, Maxim Sushko, Semyon Dragochinsev, Ivan Lodnia. There are a lot of prospects here. And if he's going out there pumping their tires in the same way he's pumping Klimovich's tires, then it makes it seem a little bit less, you know, special. But either way, in isolation, this is one heck of a quote. So big props out to Harmondale again for getting this. But I just wanted to talk about that a little bit. Imagine if that does come to fruition. And let's say a decade from now, we have a redraft of the 2021 draft. And all of a sudden, you take a look at the names that are being taken in this redraft. You have yourselves, of course, first overall, maybe it's not Owen Power anymore. Maybe it's Luke Hughes. And then maybe you have Power and they have Beneers and you have Edvinson and you have Eklund. And then you have guys like Chaz Lucius and maybe somebody else in there. And then you have yourselves Danila Klimovich. If you have yourselves, Klimovich, actually be a top 10 pick, or a top 10 caliber pick, I guess you should say instead, then all of a sudden it hurts a lot less when you think about the Vancouver Canucks giving up their ninth overall pick for Connor Garland. Because now it's like, okay, well, the Canucks pretty much just used up the ninth overall pick for Danila Klimovich, who is that caliber of a talent, and they traded their second for Garland instead. You see, this is kind of how you get through life, as you frame things in a little bit of a different way. Things that aren't really all too correct, but things that, when you phrase them differently, feel a lot better to absorb. And if Danila Klimovich ever reaches that ceiling of a top six forward like his agent Dan Milstein implies he could, then that would be an absolute steal of a second round pick. Heck, having a second round pick, even just making the league is like the bare minimum. So having him be an effective top six sniper, playmaker, really dangly kind of guy out there playing with Elias Pettersson if he ever finds his groove, it could be pretty special. But of course, we still have to wait a few years to actually see Klimovich make the NHL if he ever does do that. I mean, the progression has been a good sign so far. As we noted, third division Belarusian League to the AHL in a year is no tall task. So the sky's the limit, I guess, into seeing where Klimovich's future will lie. But according to his agent, that ceiling could be as high as the peak of Mount Everest if you're implying that he could have his name next to Burray's up in the rafters. Talk to me in the comments. What do you think about the agent Dan Milstein and his comments over here? What do you think about Daniel Klimovich? If you've been seeing any of the Abbotsford Comets games comments. My goodness, I said it again! Abbotsford Canucks games. Then let me know in the comments what do you think about Klimovich and the way that he has played so far in the AHL. 
His production's pretty good. He's sticking around. I think he's doing all right, especially for an 18-year-old. Let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed this British Rolls 99. And bye. <laughs>